let's talk about kegels um so lately i've been seeing on tiktok a lot uh to pe remind people to do kegels to like a beat of a song and we've seen it sensationalized um for over the years by social media influencers articles reminding us to do our kegels so that we can have the best sex of our lives use it or lose it so I have some feelings off this, let me tell you why. So for background, Kegels are pelvic floor muscle strengthening exercises. And from a side view, the pelvic floor muscles kind of look like a cute hammock. And it supports like the uterus, the bladder, the small intestines, the rectum. So it's all about uh, tightening those muscles so that it can help support those body parts. So Kegels are actually named after an American gynecologist, Arnold Henry Kegel. He invented Kegel exercises back in like 1948 as a non-surgical treatment for urinary incontinence, which is the lack of voluntary um, control due to uh, pelvic floor muscle weakness. Kegels are typically targeted for people that can experience changes in their pelvic floor muscles from factors like pregnancy, aging, childbirth, uh, being overweight, and it, that can cause things like urinary or fecal incontinence, female genital prolapse, or pelvic pain. So here are my big issues with how Kegels are sensationalized in media. Research actually shows that most people do them incorrectly with verbal instructions alone. So when they're done poorly, you're actually doing way more harm than good. For example, a lot of pelvic floor therapists have told us, like Rachel Gelman of the San Francisco Pelvic Health and Rehabilitation Center, have told us that people focus so much and they do them too often where they only work on the squeezing of the muscles but not actually properly relaxing. For example, if you are working out, say you do like a bicep curl and you like hold that bicep curl but you never relax it. So when you do this with your pelvic floor muscles, you're actually, um, you can cause things like pelvic floor dysfunction, uh, incontinence, and constipation because you're not learning how to properly relax and do the full range of motion. There's a big issue with how we sensationalize in media about Kegels and somehow there's this crazy correlation of that tighter vaginas will give better orgasms. Uh, so I'll go much more in depth about the the tightness and the BS myth around that in a different video, but let me make sure I say this loud for the people in the back. Sex is not that simple. There's so much more to sexual pleasure than just tightness or squeezing. Uh, sex is actually a lot, is equally emotional as it is physical, and there's actually studies around this that uh, being more mindful can improve sexual arousal. For example, like being in the right mindset and not worrying about whether your vagina is tight enough. So TLDR, should you be doing Kegels? Probably not, especially if the only thing you're worried about is whether you're missing out on some kind of amazing sex because of Kegels, you're not. Um, but if you are having things like urinary incontinence or pain during sex, it is worth talking to a pelvic floor therapist or your doctor to make sure that you're doing Kegels correctly and they can actually correct your form and the full range of exercise. That's how I feel about Kegels.